Hello, my Geminis, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie, and I'm reading for October 13th through the 19th. Take a look at my overview. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Things are keep getting interesting. Let's put it that way. Also, to remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? New moon, new start. What do we have here? New start is coming. Um, expect powerful changes. A new romantic cycle begins. One that maybe maybe we learn to love each other. Maybe we learn to love ourselves. It's interesting times that we are in. Transformational times. I feel like my Gemini's, it's, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of karmic, karmic, uh, oh, karma is, karma comes due for you, okay? Karma comes due. You've been through a lot. You've been fighting a lot. You've been, and I don't mean fighting each other. You've been pushing forward, pushing forward. Um, I, and I feel karma, karma, it's time for karma to come due, at least some part of it, okay? So let's see what we have. Again, I'm kind of getting something for a couple of years that's just been pushing off. And now, you know, kind of like now, it, now like your ship is coming in. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to our Geminis? What do you want to say to our Geminis? Okay, one, two, and three. Third card is reversed. Whenever I have a reverse card, I say, yeah, wants to, wants to say something a little more, a little more special. Anyway, let's see what we've got for our Geminis. First card is the King of Earth. So money energy, Midas, cut, Midas touch energy, very intelligent energy going, pushing forward. I'm feeling like the King of Earth. Uh, oh, well, okay. I'm feeling like the King of Earth is not taking any more stuff, okay? Is really just kind of wanting his due, wanting what, you know, what belongs to him. So the King's underlying energies... All kings have an underlying energy of air, um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Yours, you know, your energy, thought processes, things, you know, things, um, making plans, thinking things through. Okay, very linear. This is what, you know, step by step by step. However, the king of earth is a little more earthbound. You know, isn't just thinking in the air. The king of earth is thinking on, you know, thinking on his feet. Why, you know, the king of earth is somebody that can make things happen, but he's a, he is a very generous person. It says generous, professional, responsible, and practical, but he can make things happen. He is a subject matter expert, and I feel like he is coming to his, he wants to, he is coming into his own, okay? A lot of things that he has already put into place are now coming to fruition in many ways, too. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. So a lot of things, like I said, a lot, couple of things, a couple of years ago, a lot of things that you've put into place. I kind of get like a couple of years ago is you know like your ship is coming in because of what you've already done a few years ago. Next card is the Queen of Earth. So we have that Earth energy, underlying energy again. Well, and Earth energy is remember Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, money, job, career. Queen's underlying energy is that water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, caring energy. But again, the Queen of Earth has that down-to-earth energy. She is going to take care of herself. She is going to take care of her needs. And then from that, she then branches out to the needs of others. She likes a happy life. She likes to have things in order. She, you know, she likes to have... Um, you know, she likes to have pretty things and and comfort things too. So you got the royal couple here. You got the king and queen of earth. They're kind energies. They're good energies. They're loving energies. He's a very he's got a very wise energy, but he's down to earth again. She's got a very loving energy, but she's also very practical and a very down to earth at the same time. So there, you know, so you've got this couple that are working together. And this is very um, fortuitous. This is very grounding for my Geminis right now. The Queen of Earth is thoughtful, creative, and warm and sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. 
deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Now, remember, the Queen of Earth is the one that I that I mentioned with the airplane. You know, should in the event that the oxygen masks should fall or should come down, please remember to put yours on first before you help anyone else. So this is one of these times taking care of yourself first before you can take care of somebody else. But there is money energy here. There is, um, you know, very kind kind of going along with that, that beginning, that overview um, energies too. But this becomes a little more personal. And this one also has you more in charge of what is needed. Okay, next card. This is really going to be the interesting one. Let's see. The Knight of Fire. So you've got court cards. You've got the royal the royal energies, you know. So this is this isn't quite the major arcana cards, but it's not the minor arcana arcana cards. This is the this is more of an action cards. This is more of taking control. This is more of a I want things to move and I want things to get better energy too. So the knight's underlying energy is fire, but this is also fire. Now what I love about the knight of fire, he you know, like it says passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. However, the knight of fire is has a goal and will go after his goal. Now, the knight of fire is also very committed to his goal, okay? He's not just, you know, I know that the, when we have the Knight of Earth, the Knight of Earth is very much making plans. This guy, he makes plans on, you know, he makes plans on the fly. He does things, you know, he makes decisions based upon what he knows at the time. This is very quick energy. He is not going off haphazard. He knows what his end game is, and he knows what he's going after. I mean, he, so he knows, he already knows what he wants, okay? So... But the thing about the knights, they're directional. Once they get moving, um, you know, he, he's going to get this done. Now, he may be a little showy. He may be a little flashy. But he wants people to know who is getting whatever is done. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. So he is, you know, he's going to think things through. But he's going to, he's very quick. He is very quick. There is money energy here. There is home, loving energy. There is, you know, taking care of yourself first, but at the same time, you know, moving quickly so you can do what is needed to be done. Okay, so you've got some interesting energy with this. This is interesting. I don't think I've had a, the court cards like this for a very long time. Anyway, let's see. John Holland, Psychic Tarot, and Oracle cards. What else do you want for our... Gemini. So we have the king, queen, and knight. We have the royal. We have the royal family. The royal family, though the knight is, has a you know, knight is maybe from another family. <laughs> so let's see what we've got going on here. Let's see. Very. There's a lot of wisdom with the money too. There's a lot of wisdom with the financials. Quick, quick. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Okay, let's see. Get her done. Get her done, Gemini's. Time. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Ooh! Reversed. This is the Nine of Water. This is the Wish card. The Wish card was in the, um, you know, in the overview. Nine is completion. Let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need, Gemini's. Let's put it all together. You've got the power up here, too. You've got the authority up here, too. So claim your authority. Claim your authority. Fulfillment of wishes. So what is it that you're wishing for? Interesting with that. And that was in the overview, too. Okay, angels of abundance. You've got the authority, my Geminis. Move on it. Move on your own authority. Move on God's authority. Yes, Okay, let's see what we have here. Here we go. Time to act. Time to move on authority. Okay. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else? Angels of abundance. Okay, where what do we want to do here? I guess these this one wants to pop. Okay. Reversed. 
abundant abundance mindset. Some, did somebody get this? Maybe Libra. No, 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 no. This has not come up yet. Abundant mindset. Okay, very uh, chakra also. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment, and that is what you will experience. I've talked, you know, I, I mentioned on here about how I didn't have money for the, the um, you know, my mortgage one month, and it was very, it was like, I got to pay the mortgage. And I just said, you know, God, I know you're going to pay my mortgage. And you know what? My mortgage was paid. So let's see what we've got going on here. These are the angel, um, where are they? Angel, gemstone, oracle cards. So here we go. Oops. Let's see. This is for our Geminis. What do you want to say to our Geminis? Yeah, we have to, you know, just, hey, you know, this has to get done. This has to get done. So sometimes this is not necessarily believing upon yourself as believing in higher power. Well, many times. That's how I get through life. Let's put it that way. Okay. <clears throat> Dalmatian Jasper. Are you having issues with loyalty? Are you building relationships with trustworthy and reliable people? Are you having issues with being faithful? Take a look at your own level of fidelity and dependability. Make a pledge to be loyal to yourself and others. That's interesting with this reading. Okay. Now this is, might be a good affirmation with this new moon. Angel of loyalty. I attract loyal, thoughtful people and situations into my life. I am loyal to my friends and to myself. I devote time and energy to building and maintaining meaningful relationships with myself and others. I trust myself fully. Hmm. Okay. So now I, we've talked about the um, new moon, moon eclipse, fire moon, all that good stuff. New moon in Gemini. Let's see. Do we have another, not in Gemini, I'm sorry, in Libra. What do we want to say, moonology cards? What, car, what, what do we want to give? What do we want to say during this new moon season for Geminis? Here we go. Reversed. It's a fixed moon, which you are a, you are, no, you're not, you're not. I'm sorry. Uh, a fixed sign would be like um, Leo, um, would be like Taurus. It, so this is hold your vision. Hold your vision. So it's like you can accomplish. You can accomplish so much. Hold your vision. Okay? During this new moon. What did it all mean to you, my Geminis? Did it mean anything? I hope it did. Anyway, let me know. Please comment. And also, too, even though I don't like having to say this all the time, it makes a difference. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, though, my Geminis, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.